if you want to hear God, condition the, your environment. Look for a praise and worship tape, a worship tape that you like so much, your spirit likes it. Use it to condition the environment. Don't allow the environment to, to sway. Choose the menu. And your spirit will not like a song for long. Alright? Your spirit is dynamic, just like physical food. You eat one today and you tell your wife, man, this soup was great. And then she goes, next day she brings it. Say, no, this is not. That's how your spirit is. It it's, it's, um, functions according to variety. So what stays on your heart and brings ventilation to your soul today will not survive, will not have the same effect tomorrow. You know why? It's not about the song. It's not about the tune. It is because at that time the Holy Spirit was upon it. And it's only that which comes from the spirit that can affect your spirit. Only spirit can encounter spirit. Don't think that your song is good. No. Does it convey spirit? As long as there's spirit in it, it will affect your own spirit. Do you understand that? If the spirit of God leaves from it, the tunes remain, but they are mere tunes for the ears of men. There is something your spirit likes. Give him that menu. And then it's easy for your spirit to yield to the spirit of God when that menu is available. As you allow, as the spirit surrenders completely to the flow, the perpetual flow of life that comes from the spirit of God, then you begin to discern the things that are flowing in the river of life. You will see when Satan wants to make an attempt at you. You will know when darkness has been summoned to fight with the next phase of your destiny. You will know when your name is given to a warlock and a warlock, a wizard is contracted to bring injury to you. You will know when it's time to fight. If you are in the flow of that river of life. Because in that river itself is the capacity for notification. It's the stream that brings consciousness. And your spiritual senses are activated to know the things that you have never learned. To know the things that you cannot be taught. Things that you cannot study. Those things must be handed out to you by the spirit of God. Now, when your spirit is resting, because I thank God for this brother, he has found the note, the note that my spirit is on. So I can rest now. I can rest in it. This art of resting that I'm talking about is, is, is to be tranquilized from any form of worry, concern, trouble. Be tranquilized from it. When you have found that state, then you can begin to speak in tongues. And the operation of Christ that is in your vessel will be activated. When it is activated, these things will be done by the Holy Ghost. But it will happen. It's just like when you are warming your car in the morning. It has a, an intense sound. When the lubrication has gone around, it will rest. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. It will rest. It means you can drive now. Right? So if you, the lubrication is to go around. When it goes around, then the flow of life begins. The things that are about to come to pass in the future, you'll be seeing it. Because your spiritual senses are activated. You'll become wise by the Holy Ghost. Alright, let's try. Can we speak in tongues for... Uh, if you came here with problems, can you forget it? Just forget yourself. Forget your neighbor. Forget your husband. Forget your wife. Get yourself focused. The only thing that matters here is Jesus. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ the King. Jesus Christ the Lord. Jesus Christ the Alpha and the Omega. That's the only thing that matters right now. And then the rivers of life will begin to flow. There's a tranquility that it will minister. The rest that is in heaven. The atmosphere of that rest. It will quench every turbulence on your soul. Because it will lead you by water still. Kofila skito monke mazalai. Skifotomine 
Yata kubina atua Kisi kompeli askizo sanatula Ah baraka sina Ah baraka samidela Ah baraka skuta brendo mizai Aveli kompela skito brendo kopela kudemazi Akave sose la hambre kabata kuntame Akaito sama kantalia Ika bedo kompe Ika basama katalia Ika basupre kambatu ake buske tamila Ah. Then your spiritual senses will be activated. You will see beyond your mind. You will understand beyond your learning. Holy Spirit will give you eyes beyond your sight. Mesko veliko malabraskito monde. Avavaleti ameskilo. Presko falamina santeli. Rada bonde sketo kobela kura matatalia eskizo sani kampre raka banzemi no kuria avata manshata la bonde keska temi na kudia rekabus kabatwa ah in the name of Jesus now let me when you press that way God will show you great and mighty things. Meanwhile, for information, that this is how I get the messages I preach. This thing I did now. You want to preach so that there will be life on your message every day? You must do this thing. Every single message I preach, I must pray like that. Then the scripture will drop. That means we're able to search into the movements that took place in the realm of God. Meanwhile, I need to tell you what I saw. If you do this, you will, you, your sight will explode. Do you know what I saw? I saw a Viking axe, an axe of a Viking. And the Holy Spirit is revealing to me that one of you here is in the background of your life, there is an attempt to cut you off, but you are not aware, you know? You are not aware, you are just rejoicing and feeling cool, but it is not well. Now, because it might be difficult for us to find the individual, we will, I have a traditional way of locating such people. This is practical, right? So that you will believe. And I will, I will now explain to you how many things go wrong when a family doesn't have a watchman. You can't spy on the enemy. You can't spy on Satan. Satan comes in and out unhindered. The Lord will give strength. He will give grace. He will give grace. He will give grace. Oh, he will give you grace. So, we are going to pray. I will just ask the Lord to help me find the person. The axe is already. The weapon has been forged already. In order to bring injury to the life of someone sitting here. But you will never know except you keep the watches. It's when you are diligent in keeping the watches of the day and of the night that the Holy Spirit will begin to bring things great and mighty things that you do not know to you. It is not everything that is going on in the realm of the Spirit that I saw. I just saw the one that is within the window of my watch. The moment I step down from that window, it will take a sovereign act of God to bring my consciousness to something that is going on in the realm of the Spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus. You quickened my understanding. You showed me the acts. And how that one person in this congregation, or maybe, maybe many more, even listening online, have been programmed for an attack that will bring about strange injury from their lives. In order for us to have the ability to help these ones, I want to ask, oh God, that you will help reveal them. That you will help show who they are by stretching forth your hand this evening and by identifying them by your power so holy spirit i ask stretch forth your hand to my right and to my left and that one that is an object of attack that satan wants to take advantage of i ask that your mighty hand will begin to descend upon that person so that i will know who is implicated by this vision that you have shown me from my left hand side to my right hand side from my left hand side to my right hand side from my left hand side to my right hand side 
Lord for me. Now bring that woman. Now listen, listen. You're not listening. Stay with me. If it's God that showed me that vision, God will confirm it. If it's not God, you will not. I'm on my own. Now this woman came into service today not knowing that there's a plot against her life. But it will take a watch in the spirit to identify her situation. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Well, you are not understanding me. Bring her up, bring her up, bring her up. The weapon that would have been used against her has been forged already. She doesn't know. She's not aware of it. Now, so when you watch and you see it has not yet happened, it's about to happen. So we can change it. Can we change it? All right, so stretch your hand in that direction and neutralize the effect of that weapon. Neutralize the effect of that weapon. Neutralize the effect of that weapon right now. Oh, the way you are praying. If, if you were praying for yourself, you would have prayed more. Neutralize the effect. Neutralize the effect. Isamenia Kumbela. Kuvase si kobrelo mosketa muragadis. Neutralize the effect of that weapon. Of that weapon. Neutralize it. Let it have more power over her life. Let it have more power over her destiny. We stand as watchmen. We stand as watchmen. We stand enabled by the Holy Ghost. Esia mekili. Esia skante mokora. Askambe lami. Shemina itoke brasketa bakata. Ibra masanta baboria. We stand as watchmen. And we neutralize the effect of that weapon. That has been raised in the spirit. I must say that my Kobala God, Shamin Kampala, Alakore Masile Mamaya, Ila le 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 le. It's not everyone that Satan can devour. By the power that is in the name of Jesus, we rescued you. We rescue you. We rescue you in Jesus' mighty name. I saw Selamina handle it. In the name of Jesus. When you minister to someone, be open to what the Holy Ghost will tell you. You see, don't ever think you are a master of administration. The master is the Holy Spirit. So as you are ministering, you allow him to guide you. Right, so the guidance now is that I should lay my hands. Don't just lay your hands traditionally. That that's what to do. No, allow him to direct you. He, he, it is his directive that is when obeyed that releases power. It changes things. Oh, spare this one. Spare her. Spare her. Ooh. Now let me give you more more details. I'm seeing a sickness that uh, was to be cast on this lady. A sickness. But that sickness can no longer, it can no longer take effect. I'm just trying to show you what happens when there's no watchman. So many terrible things take place. And you are the watchman of your family. Yes, you are, you are released, released from affliction, released from wickedness. In the name of Jesus Christ. So can you pray for yourself as a Lord? Yes, I accept now that I'm, I will be the watchman for my family. I accept the call. Accept, accept what you are saying. Only activate my spirit so that I will become wise by the Holy Ghost. I accept what you are saying and I ask for empowerment, I ask for strength. Can you pray and ask for empowerment right now? The Lord will make you wise, wise by His Spirit, wise by the Holy Ghost, wise to change things, to stop things, to facilitate the things that God wants to do, and to stop the things that the devil is about to put in place. You are hereby installed as a watchman. As a watchman. When you call upon the name of the Lord, he will show mercy. He will show you great and mighty things that you do not know. You are installed to guard your family. To guard your neighborhood. To guard the body of Christ. To make intercession and supplication. And to ask that the Lord will bring about an intervention. You are the prophet of your life. The prophet of your destiny. God wants to use you. 